What's up, Jammies? Welcome back to another episode of Ricky's Ram Jam presented by Barefoot Wine. The Barefoot is flowing and the schedule is out. This is our schedule release show. I want to dive into home games, away games. And joining me to do that later is NFL Network's Bridget Condon, who is a reporter for NFL. She's studied the Ram. She's covered them a lot. She's known, I think you might recognize her, and we'll get to that in a little bit. She's joining me in a second to go over the schedule. OTAs kick off next week. Football is in the air. I can smell smell the pigskin. Is that like a smell that you should know? I, th- I, th- I think you should, you know, you should know what I'm talking about for sure. Before that, okay, I got a chance to hang out with the rookies at Rookie Media Day. It was super exciting to be around the energy and how they were willing to just be super open and you could just feel that energy to be in that room of, of literally watching people's dreams be realized in real time. And it was, it was such an exciting experience and there's a lot of content surrounding that. So keep your eyes on that, uh, on anything Rams related to make sure you're, you're following that because it is really worth your time and heartwarming and super, super great. I wanted to bring back question of the day because truthfully, I've been letting the email box just kind of pile up and that's on me. I take full accountability. I've been neglecting it a little bit. This one's from Steve L. Ricky, will you be doing the pregame show again this season? Steve, yes. Fieldside, pregame digital show, every home game. JB, DeMarco, MJD, if he is not being flown all over the world for NFL Network, all of us together pregaming the upcoming game. It's it's an amazing show. Make sure you check it out. And yes, I will be there. Also have some fun stuff in the works as well for in stadium. That could be a tease. I just, you know, recommend going to the rams.com slash tickets and making sure you get to SoFi because I don't know, you could see me bopping around and maybe be featured. I, I don't know. Maybe not. You'll have to find out for yourself. But the schedule is out. You can circle which games you want to be at, which ones at home, away, all of it. But I kind of want to dive into the schedule a little bit more. As you know, Jammies, we love football and we love our sponsor, Barefoot Wine. You know, wine and football aren't that different. Sure, they can be complex, but sharing them should be easy. And what's better to do than share that with friends? And joining me today is a great friend of mine, NFL Network's reporter, Bridget Condon, who we are just talking about is getting married soon. So that's so exciting. (laughs) Thank you for fitting me in between, you know, wedding planning. I saw on your Instagram how you were like shipping plates or something. Like, I don't know if that's something you want to get into, but it seems like you have your plate full. No pun intended. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. What an introduction. I was just at my desk trying to pair the groomsmen and bridesmaids together. Ooh. Like people don't tell you there are so many details. They're like, at what time do you want to cut the cake? And what song do you want playing? Like, I don't know. Do you? What? Ha- yeah. What song would I want? Cake. They say a lot of people. It's like, um, how sweet it is. Oh, Marvin I like Gary. that. I would yeah, do cake like, by Rihanna while you cut the cake. Imagine. Wait, that's actually such a good idea. Like, ha- like at that I point, might actually just go change it. You should because at that point in the night, like everyone's kind of vibing. Like the drinks have been flowing, the barefoot wine's been flowing at the wedding, <laughs> and like when the cake is cut, like there have been weddings that I've been to where I don't remember the cake being cut because like there's so much going no on. No one ever does. Right. Yeah. So like, why not? make a song that like you are gonna like love and laugh and live laugh love to you know what I mean do you think our band could play that (laughs) that would be even funny like a jazz version (laughs) kk kk dude with like strings that's amazing oh my god okay so the rams yeah please do yeah I'm, I'm sure jammies are dying to know for sure um so Bridget you're taking a minute from the news desk, you're at NFL Network right now. You are the reporter for a lot of different teams. You've covered the Rams a lot, which is which is exciting. But the schedule release is out now. And first of all, our schedule release video was so awesome. And if you so guys cool. haven't seen it, go check it out. It's amazing. Um, but like, let's let's just dive into it. So I was looking at the schedule. Is there a game that you're most excited about when when looking at the Rams matchups? Okay, so there are a couple games, and there's one home game that I'm excited about, but let's get to that a little bit later. So just in general, one game that I'm very excited for is December 21st, Thursday night football against the Saints. One, this is great for Rams players who are going to get to enjoy Christmas with their families, hopefully, (laughs) not have to play on Christmas. That's a positive. And for Rams fans, too. We love football on Christmas, but you get to, you know, start the weekend off with some football, be at home watching on TV in your jammies. Like, that's the vibe I want for Christmas. And it's Thursday night football. Always so much more adrenaline and hype surrounding it. And against the Saints, which the Rams, I think, don't 
really look at the Saints the way the Saints look at the Rams. I think a lot of Saints fans still have built up frustration and anger towards the Rams because of the NFC Championship game. I think it was 2019. Yeah. So there's just going to be a lot of fire. I love when two teams have that anger and those stories, and it just it, it makes a competitive game and a better storyline. And I just love a primetime game. Right, especially when you look at their last Thursday night game, which was the Raiders game with that comeback with Baker Mayfield. Oh I mean, yeah, God. there's a that lot. That was crazy. No one expected that. Right, and so there's a lot of drama. And you're right, like going into Christmas weekend, that is, that is awesome. I I was looking at the schedule, and I think it's, it's interesting that we have divisional games the first two weeks about the Seahawks and yeah. the Niners. How important is it for the Rams, you know, to just get ahead and get off to a fast start, especially against these divisional opponents? I think this is a great opportunity for the Rams to jump up to early leads because who knows who's going to be at quarterback for the 49ers early in the season. Brock Purdy might still be recovering from um, his surgery. So if he's not ready, this is an advantage point for the Rams to get them early. And same with the Seahawks. You know, they that's going to be a hard team for them. But because of the consistency with Geno Smith, but they do have a lot of new players coming in. They have a young receiver, I should say, that is going to take a little bit of adjustment so to be able to get them early, especially while hopefully all 53 on the Rams are healthy because we know that right. was an issue late right. in the season. I love this when you look at various different schedules because a lot of times you have these fluff games and, you know, maybe that's easy to like, you know, start slow, finish strong. Right. But if you're going with your healthiest, your best, your freshest legs early on, this could come to an advantage. If you can start 2-0 and in your division, I mean, yeah. that could really save you come December, January. Absolutely, absolutely. And you look at this Rams team against sort of the Seahawks in the past, and they played against them very well last year despite the record. And sometimes a Shanahan-led Niners team takes a little bit to warm up, which is good, which they yeah. do play them again in Week 18, which that is definitely circled on, on the calendar for me as well. But I think to get them right off the bat like that is exactly what you said. I think it could be very advantageous. At first I looked at it and was like, oh, my gosh, like sometimes it takes you a second to get your legs under you or yeah. whatever. But I do feel like it's actually really great looking at the roster and looking as Rams fans at the schedule like – I think it could be a very good thing for the Rams as well. Um, we, we said we we're going to talk about it in a little bit. Like, which home game mm. are you most looking forward to? The Eagles. Okay. I think this is a great test for the Rams, right? This is a team that just made it to the Super Bowl. Yes, things have changed a little bit, but their core pieces, what brought them to the Super Bowl, still on the team. So if the Rams want to see where they are and how they match up, this is the team, this is the game to figure out, okay, we're pretty close, or we still have a long way to go. And it's an opportunity for the Rams' new offensive line to go against one of the best defensive lines and you know test themselves, and vice versa, for you know the Rams' defense to test itself against one of the best O lines in the league. Right. So I think this is going to be really fun and really exciting. I love that it's at home. I love that it's in LA where the lights are bright, maybe catch the Eagles sleeping and, you know, shock the world and get back into some of those primetime conversations. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm looking really forward to the Steelers game too, which I think will be really exciting more for just the fan base, like that Raiders game on Thursday night that we talked about this past season, the fans were really like to see the Rams fans and Raiders fans in that building, like going against each other. And then the energy when the Raiders fans were leaving the building was really fun. And I just think even sort of like the Eagles, like these fan bases are storied fan bases and to see everyone come together for the love of football but then hopefully with the Rams win and them on the escalators going down is like really exciting to me and, and I love that uh, we're talking a lot about the past and you are really well known for you know I don't know a video that kind of went viral about you and Cooper Cup when was it, it was like the week 13 win over the Jags and you caught up with him post game and just asked him about his third quarter touchdown and I want to play that for you guys now Specifically, your defender went and blitzed. What did you see there? How were you able to, to use that to your advantage? Yeah, they had a little three deep fire zone, brought the nickel off the edge, safety dropped down. Uh, it didn't look like they were doing a replacement fire zone, so I knew at the back away we were going to get three pushing through. Um, I had an opportunity to kind of run in there if I could beat my guy and just had to beat the safety to the end zone. 
What do you remember about that moment? Did you expect it to blow up the way that it did? Not at all. I remember after the interview, well, one, I wanted to get another question in because I wanted to be like, wait, what? Like, can you break that down for everybody who has no idea what you just said? Right. But I was getting wrapped. So that's why I'm just kind of like, thanks. And then I'm whatever. What always happens is you do an interview and you like hear maybe 70 percent of it and then you watch it back and you get all 100 percent. And I remember watching it back on my producer's phone like still on the field. And we were like, what did he just say? But I didn't expect it to blow up. But I love that video just because I feel like that speaks to who Cooper Cup is, yeah. like to a T. And it's such a great answer. I hate when people are just like, oh yeah, like my I man got found open. me. Yeah, right. And it's like, come on, this is what we live for. I want a passionate response. So if I could get, 700 Cooper Cup answers every time I interview someone, fine by me. Oh, it would make your job so much easier. Yeah, I just no, like, seriously. I just remember seeing it blow up and then watching it again and again and again. And then also not knowing anything. Like I Googled everything he said. And so I just like, you just, I think it's funny to hear the hindsight and like behind the scenes of how you're like, you gotta go, you gotta go. Cause you were just like, thanks. Because I think that's exactly what I would have said. It's just like, oh yeah, like totally. Like no, replace same. fires. Like, like I just, yeah, I just, yeah. it's crazy. Like Cooper, we all were, we all were thinking that like. <laughs> like it's so easy, but you know that you're exactly right. It's like, especially someone like Cooper Cup who has, you know, a good personality, but he's like very football focused and very driven. And to get an answer out of him like that was so iconic in a way that cheers yeah. to you. Great question. Uh, but also cheers to him for like really diving into that. And I, I loved it. We always want like the personality, right? Like people are like, what are these players like? Well, that's, exa <laughs> that's exactly the answer. That's what he's like. Yeah. Yeah. So that was cool. And that's a cool moment. Uh, for you too, like you're the you're the Cooper Cup fire zone yeah. girl. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> the fire zone girl. Fire zone girl. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the title of this episode. All right, Bridget. Before I let you go, time now for the Ram Jam, where I ask my guests the same three questions, rapid fire style. Okay. Are they gonna be hard? Yeah, for sure. No, no, no. They're easy. What is your favorite Rams moment of all time? Well, can I just say that? I mean, yeah, I guess Cup that's one? like kind of an easy okay, answer. Okay, well, I though. won't. Um, <laughs> I think winning the Super Bowl, that was my first Super Bowl ever attending and just being in LA, having covered them so many times that year, like in the, in SoFi and seeing that happen, that was really cool. Yeah. That, I've never seen the confetti fall except for on TV. So right. it was really cool to see it in person. Yeah, that moment was, was amazing. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my God, what? I know. Ooh, okay, like probably like mangoes? No. Mangoes? That's a, that's a bad answer. <laughs> I'm on the spot right Are now. Are you kidding? Um, well it has to be like something healthy, right? No? No, I mean is it pizza, is it tacos, is it mangoes I mean that is okay, I mean pasta. I get pasta that pasta's way can you tell I'm um, dieting for the wedding yeah like, you're, all I'm you're eating is mangoes. yeah like mangoes that's so funny that that's the first thing that came to your mind you're lucky I didn't say dates <laughs> yeah that yeah that would be good but those work um what would you do if fear was not a factor and you could not fail oh my god I'd be the quarterback of an NFL team really that's no, like I'd be a country thing. no I'd be a country singer Oh, like okay. I want to be Taylor Swift on that stage, yeah, singing to millions of people. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's I great. Do. Can you sing? Like I can sing like in high school choir, but can I sing in the world? No. But is that fear? Like maybe you should go take some vocal oh lessons. God. Like maybe report by day and like sing by night. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know. Do it. I feel like this is awesome. Bridget, I like could talk to you for hours. I love your insight. I love you. I think it's so cool. All the work that you do over at NFL Network. So Jamies, if you're watching right now or listening, make sure you go check out Bridget. She is such a fun time and knows her stuff. And I love listening to her. She's a great follow on Twitter. So make sure you go check that out. Bridget, I can't wait to see you in the press box at SoFi. The season is right yes. around the corner. This is, this is going to be awesome. The schedule is great. And I'm so excited. Thanks for having me. Good luck, Rams.
That does it for this week's Ricky's Ram Jam. Thank you so much for Bridget for hanging out with us tonight. I'm excited for SoFi. The schedule is out. You can look at the home games. I want to see you at SoFi. Now is the time. Get ahead of it. Head to therams.com slash tickets and I will meet you there. Let's ram it.